Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today I have another battle vid for you here on the channel. This is a, a battle between two wireless headsets that are multi-platform, priced at $99. I'm talking about the brand new uh, Razer Barracuda X right here versus the Steel Series Actus One. Yeah, so yeah, this is quite interesting. They're both they're both $99 headsets. Uh, and they are multi-platform, meaning they will work for either your PC, your laptop, your Android device, your PlayStation, as well as your Nintendo Switch, because they all support USB Type-C connectors. Now, as I mentioned, both headsets are wireless headsets, and let's take a first look, quick look at the Razer Barracuda X. Now, the Barracuda X is all black, has that little Razer lettering here. It doesn't have any RGB lighting. It's a really light headset, soft cushion padding, on each ear cup. It does have a detachable mic, one that you can actually attach in there, so you can take it off if you want to, if you just want to listen to music. And all the controls are on the left ear cup. So you've got uh, the uh, power button, you've got the volume rocker, you've got a mute button, you've got a 3.5 mm jack, and it charges via USB Type-C. Gives you around uh, close to about 24 hours of battery life, I believe. Uh, and uh, it also has a proprietary jack for your microphone. Now, this headset is a bit different because it rests on your neck the opposite way, which I'm not a big fan of, but you can still put it this way. Just know that the mic is going to pop up in this direction. So that's just something to take note. But it does come with a few accessories. It does have uh, the 3.5 mm cable. It does have the USB adapter, USB-C adapter to connect to your devices, as well as also an adapter cable if you just have USB, so for instance, to your laptop or PC if it doesn't have USB type C. So that is what you have with the Razer. Now, the Steel Series is just similar, and this is a little bit older. It's been out for a while. Uh, it's a really comfortable headset. It's got soft cushion all around, and uh, it does have, of course, all these controls on the left-hand side, except the power button is on the right. Uh, this comes with, of course, a mute button, a volume rocker, 3.5 mm jack, but a micro USB cable. So that's something I was not a big fan of, I'm still not a big fan of, and it's got a detachable mic as well. Now, in this case, this rests on your neck this way, so you can see it, it's quite forward. You put it up, it comes up this way, and then you can put up your headset. So you've got that all built in. So let's talk about the very first thing, comfort, which is more comfortable. Honestly, both of them are really comfortable headsets. I'd say the Steel Street is a little bit more snug, but the Razer is really comfortable and light. I feel the Razer is just a tad bit lighter. It feels a little bit lighter, but on, you won't have an issue with comfort with either one of them. When it comes to connectivity, they all connect to multiple devices. They connect to PlayStation, uh, they connect to your Android devices, your laptop, uh, your iPad, because it's got USB Type-C. Anything that has USB Type-C, including your Nintendo Switch, so you've got that there built in. So it's kind of a tie for both devices. Now, let's go ahead and listen to the microphone. This is really, really important. To see how the microphone sounds on both the Barracuda X and the Sierra Series Arctis One. Okay, so this is the sound sample of the Barracuda X. I'm using the microphone off the headset. It's got a pop filter, so it does help quite a bit to stop a lot of the pops you probably hear with a microphone like this. Sounds good, feels really comfortable. Let's go ahead and try the SteelSeries Arctis One wireless. So this is a sound sample of the SteelSeries Arctis One. It's got that Arctis microphone. Uh, doesn't come with a pop filter, so you might want to buy one if you need one, especially just because of uh, the way the mic is. But uh, you're hearing how it sounds, and and we're doing this video. So let's go ahead and uh, round this up and decide which has the best microphone between the Barracuda X and the Stereo Series Arctis One. So when it comes to the microphone, you can clearly see that the Barracuda X definitely sounds better than the Arctis One wireless. Uh, though the Arctis One wireless sounds good, I think the Barracuda X is just clearer, sharper. Uh, now when it comes to audio, both of them do a really good job with audio and I think it's really solid, they work out really well and you really have no issues with audio here. You're going to hear footsteps, you're going to hear the sounds, uh, they're not as robust as, sort of pro as probably some of the things in the high end between SteelSeries and Razer, but you do get a very nice sound space for them and listening to music actually is pretty good on both headsets. Now when you look at both headsets side by side, 
They have a lot of similarities, but I will go with the Barracuda X. Uh, first off, the microphone as we just talked about, but secondly, uh, it also charges via USB Type-C, which for me is just a, a better upgrade than what we have with the Arctis One Wireless, which is still stuck at micro USB. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, the Arctis One Wireless is a solid headset, I really like it, but if I speak from between both of them, I will go with the Barracuda X because it does everything a little bit more and it's just as comfortable. So if you have any questions, any comments about both headsets, guys, let me know. Otherwise, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if you want to pick them up, use the links down below in the, com in the description section of this video. And uh, always enjoy your entertainment. I'll catch you next time.